Hi, welcome to the next video. Um, first thing first, I want to make the correction. Earlier in the video, um, the previous video, I mentioned that the, my nephew name is uh, Yusuf Salahuddin, but his real name is actually uh, Salahuddin Yusuf bin Faisal. Okay, when that is out of the way, uh, for this video, uh, the discussion is about the factors that is uh, affecting the calculation of V1 speed. So basically, there's a three major uh, factors among many, but uh, these three major factors, um, in most cases of the operation, affects the calculation or the, the the actual numbers of the V1 speed that will be calculated. First factor is the actual weight itself. So the weight of the plane, because uh, basically um, we talk about V1 is the ability of the aircraft to stop before the end of the runway. So that involves momentum. So speed is just one of the factor, but the entire momentum involves, if you recall from basic physics, is uh, M and V. So we have the velocity, which is the speed for V1, the in knots. But the other variable is the mass. So weight uh, is loosely used in this term, but in physics we call mass. Um, so the weight of the plane, as it comes out from the factory, um, is one weight. And then there will be the weight of the fuel that is put into the plane. So um, depending on how far you're going to travel, the weight of the fuel will, will make a lot of impact on the ability of the aircraft to stop. So that's another factor. And also the weight of the crew, the, uh, all the equipment on board, and all the chairs, the galley equipment, all the food that you eat, all the drink, every single cup that you have on board in your hand, all the suitcase that you bring in the plane, that contributes to the total weight of the aircraft. <coughs> so, um, so we talk about the one part, weight, and then the other part is the environmental aspect. So, environmental, <laughs> not enough space, uh, environmental aspect, so whether it is raining, then the runway will be wet, it will be slippery. If it's snowing, it's even worse, it's even more slippery. So uh, that's part of the environment, uh, which is weather. Other than that as well is the topography, which is a pretty part as well of the environment. So if the runway is sloping upwards or downwards, that can play a role. I will touch into that one more detail soon. But um, the weight environment and last part is the, I would say the, um, um the aircraft status aircraft itself aircraft or the technical aspect so uh depending on the uh, all this calculation of v1 assumes a perfect aircraft scenario but there are times when the actual aircraft, aircraft itself may not be in the perfect condition so in one aircraft for example a boeing 777 will have six uh wheels in one truck or one track and then they have another six on the other side so just on the main wheels of the aircraft, there's a total of 12 wheels and that 12 wheels will have 12 brakes uh, some, uh, so not all the brakes may be working ideally all the time you want to have all the brakes working but under some condition maybe one of the brakes may not be working it's enough to go with only 11 wheels working on the 12 tires that we have or the equipment or anti-skid or in the car we call it ABS, anti-lock braking system. We have that also in the plane. So if we have that, we have to consider that brake is not working. So it will be not part of the, uh, it will, the performance will, will discount the effect of that brake that is not working. So we will need a longer stopping distance and thereby we will have to reduce the number of V1. So this will come into the total overall calculation of the actual V1. A quick uh, review of what we have discussed so far. So it's, it's not hard to imagine. So when you have the plane, um, I'll use the red ink. So when we have the plane, plane itself, okay. So uh, very funny looking plane. <laughs> the heavier the plane, uh, the more energy is required to stop the aircraft. So there, there, thereby, if you think about the V1 speed, so, um, the heavier the plane, uh, the lower the number of V1. So, if you think about it, um, a motorbike can go very fast uh, before you have to stop. So, uh, it's, it's light. But a lorry, a big truck, 
uh, will need a lot more energy so it, it needs more wheels to stop so uh, the heavier the plane uh, the less number the V1 but if the, the plane's lighter you can afford to, to go faster on the runway before you reach your actual V1 speed so so that's one part uh, the relationship between the weight and, and the uh, V1 <coughs> the other part is the runway if you think about this if the, if the runway itself is uh, sloping upwards like this yeah in some places it's sloping upwards you can afford to go um, a much higher speed because if it's upslope <coughs> it doesn't take much energy to slow down but if it's sloping downwards then you you cannot go very fast because the plane will not be able to stop in time so the you so in case of going upslope you can go very higher uh, much higher speed before you reach your actual v1 uh, going upslope but going downslope then the v1 will be a much lower value because it is harder to stop in the event of uh, uh, you need to reject the takeoff uh, for whatever the reason then uh, you want to have a, a as much margin as possible the last part is the uh, so the environment uh, of course i mentioned the slippery part uh, the other part uh, we talked about was the actual aircraft itself so the wheels of the aircraft um, if it's not in the perfect condition spoilers spoilers is the uh, metal panel on the wings that you see upon landing uh, the ground spoilers that helps to slow down the aircraft as well and the other part is the uh, thrust reverser well, technically, reversers on the engine is not considered for calculation, but it plays a role whether you can slow down. So, reverser you can discount, it's not part of the calculation, so it's not part of the V1 calculation, but it does help to stop the aircraft on the runway. And of course, a piloting technique is very important too. Okay, that's it. A big shout out to uh, Salahuddin Yusof and all his friends in KYS. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.